Hello everybody and welcome to episode 15 on Glazebrook Farm with me, Brian Brew Royalty. Well, we just slept through the night there. This grass is ready to harvest again. I didn't collect it after I, I cut it the last time. So, let me see now where all my gear is. Our money has gone up to 293,574, which is amazing. I've been doing contracts, I've been doing work off screen. Trying to get the hay harvested, everything done. So let's just tab across here instead of running all the way down. Uh, we have some wool. There's one full wool pallet anyway, that's okay. Uh, I had bought some extra sheep here. Because what I wanted to do was, I wanted to see if the reproduction rate would come down the amount of hours if the more sheep i bought so i think i bought around 10 just because we had the money for um and it didn't change so i'm not gonna buy any more i'm just gonna let them do their thing uh we will see if they need anything grass wise here they just need a small bit maybe yeah and this can be mown as well again but all that money we have sitting here now we're going to make a very big purchase here today I have made my final decision on what we're going to buy and we're going to go and we're going to buy that there now uh, we will need this tractor and trailer we'll go up in the fence with this trailer on because we will be purchasing some fields we might even hook up the trailer now, someone said that if you use the side mirrors like a proper proper farmer line it up see that doesn't make sense let me understand now got it okay so without further ado I think you all know where I'm going once I start heading that way we are going to go and we are going to buy Farmer Dan's Dairy Farm. Finally have the money. How are you? We finally have the money to go buy it. It's going to mean a lot of extra work. Because we're going to buy as many fields as we can. The more is there. We're ready to go. I'm ready to go up here. There's a field of oats here beside it. We don't get any fields with it. But we're going to buy it. Because we have the money. And... I don't see us getting any dairy cows today because, as I said before, the equipment, we're just not going to have it. But what we will have is we will have silage pits, or silo bunkers, as it's called in game, but we always call them silage pits. Uh, so we're going to have silage pits, and what we're going to do is we're going to start making silage. And of course, we're going to get rid of our tent because now we have a house. So let's just hop out here, go to our map and we're gonna buy the dairy farm for 97,103 now I'm also we have 196,000 left so what I was thinking of doing was we're gonna buy field 15 and we're gonna buy field 14 because they have crops in them I know field 15 has oats and field 14 has sunflowers so there's our slurry tank pop out through here I just want to see what's in field 13 because I might buy that as well uh, one thing about the farmers around here they just don't fertilize they don't fertilize they don't sow right up to the edges so you always get a little bit snookered with stuff but yeah that's canola growing out there it's 50% harvested or fertilized I'm going to buy it for 33,000 that's going to leave us with the princely sum of 28,402. Now, we do need our harvester, but I'll unhook this more here. What we're going to do first is we're going to go down and we're going to grab the fertilizer spreader and we're going to fertilize that canola up to 100% fertilized because it's going to help us the next time when we're trying to make money. Everything is going to cost a fortune from here on in. You gotta spend money to make money. 
That's what we'll be doing. This is so exciting now because the sheep basically take care of themselves. You pop down. Take away a few wool pellets. You give them a bit of grass. You give them a bit of water. It's pretty simple stuff really. The dairy farm is going to be a little bit more. Now also we re the oat field up there between 80 and 71 and we have it fertilized as well up to 100% so that's going to come in handy because it's so far up there and because I've now made my mind up that we are buying the dairy farm I think we might have to sell that little plot of land it is very far away and I think what we're going to do is just purchase another one of these little fields down here to save on the traveling there's no need to be going up and down the map all the time and we'll just let someone else take care of it for now the weather is good the harvest time is good we're going to need a lot of new machinery with this dairy farm I was watching John Linden's No Man's Land the other day and he has a lot of equipment there. He's doing seasons but we're still going to need equipment. Definitely going to need a mixer wagon for TMR. We're going to try and mix it ourselves if possible rather than buying it. But if we do have to buy it we're going to need cash crops. And those cash crops are going to come in the form of soybeans and canola and oats. We won't be using oats. Another thing I'd like to explore while I own this now is, I mean, isn't that brilliant? While we own it is, is there a place to put chickens? Now, unfortunately, the silo down here is gone. It's been sold and it can't be replaced. It won't let me replace the silo in where it used to be. It was just an ordinary silo. Oh yeah, don't have enough money now but it won't uh, it won't let me replace it so <coughs> excuse me also animal pens chicken coop 20,000 we have these chicken coops down here they are open and large for 3,000 uh, let's just see is there anywhere at all these could go oh yeah you can put them on your field okay okay so you can put them in the field if you want to oh I see now it's gonna take up a lot of our little field here but you know what we do need chickens so maybe what we'll do is when we get a little bit more flush with cash or maybe we'll get a little bit of a better field you know Oh, hold on now. Here we go. Here we go. Three thousand six hundred. So it's gonna, it's gonna really deform the land there on us. Something's gonna go very strange there with the land. It's gonna be all hills and bumps. Oh, hang on. I don't own this land. Who owns that land? I I now need to check out who owns that land. I do own that land. Of course I do. Oh, the periphery here. 9,457,000. Well, I mean, oh, I can see the little blue bits. See the little blue bits here? They're causing here and here and here. They're going to cause problems for me. I suppose I could just cheat in that money and buy the periphery it's not very fair that it's not letting me play stuff because of a tiny little piece that's owned by someone else we won't do that now we'll get back to our fertilizing job tab through these here we are hopefully the gateway is up here that's a bit of a scourge that we can't just do it but okay hope there's the gateway and you can see what I was saying about the farmers here they don't plant all the way up to the hedgerow and 
this is possibly one of the first fields I've seen that's been 50% fertilized. It's mostly baling contracts that come up up here. And I was hoping for a few more harvest contracts. That's okay. Let's just zip up and down along here. It's not a big field. It's not going to take much. If we can get into a 100% state of fertilizer that's gonna really be brilliant every little bit extra that we get out of these fields is gonna be fantastic for us in our new venture just to make sure I'm taking a a nice tight loop on the fertilizer And of course, that's cow pasture there, so that doesn't need to be fertilized. It'll just regrow itself, but look, if a bit shoots in there, what about it? Now, that's that done. It's a pity that more harvesting and fertilizer contracts just don't come up, but they don't come up here. It's mostly baling. Close this gate. The animation on the gates is great. Clunk. Okay. So that's our field. That's our meadow. We're going to get the harvester down. And we're going to start harvesting the oats at the back of this farm here. As quick as we can. Make money as fast as we can. Close up a few of these doors even. We'll have loads of room for our new machinery. But we'll have no money to buy it if we don't get a move on. I did see CBW Farms LLC was using this class Dominator 106. He bought it on his Let's Play. And then he proceeded to buy a header that was slightly bigger than the normal header. And I was shouting at the screen like, don't do it CBV. CBW. But like, you got to try these things. You definitely got to try these things. Otherwise you don't know. And of course it halved the speed that it was going around the field. So it just didn't make sense. Uh, he changed it not to ruin it for anyone. I hope you've all been keeping up with his videos and Also shout out to rabbit Rob for coming to Ireland. He started a let's play on an Irish map Which is great. So Good luck with that rabbit Rob. I'll be following along keeping an eye on you in Ireland That'll do And of course you've got to keep in touch with call me blur and rusty money doing all their they seem to have a new challenge every weekend. I just can't keep up with them all. I, I, the, this latest one has me baffled as well. Got to check it out. Check out the Facebook page. Farm Sim Challenges. Get talking to those guys. Get involved. It's it's great fun. And you can always talk to all of us at the Yelsa Farmer live stream. We're always there. There's so many of us popping in and out now. Ask the questions. Learn about the game if you're new to it. If you're not new to it, come and chat with us. Hashtag OFF. The Old Farts Farmers Brigade. We're just there to have fun. I'm looking forward to harvesting this field now. Got our indicator going there. Keep back you. Got our indicators going. Got our lights on doing the right thing going up the road I really like this harvester it's nice nice sized I don't know what other size you could possibly go for only this one here maybe the Rossum Mash 161 be very big though turn in here straight down through isn't it great that this is all ours now and what, what my next job is going to be is after I harvest this oats these oats and sell it I'm going to get cutting grass. 
we really need to start cutting grass and filling up those two silage pits there I know everyone in game they're called silo bunkers but to me growing up they were always silage pits I spent years and years watching tractors coming and going to the silage pits around me here climbing to the top with their forks on the back there was a local crew that used to do it they had a Ford County it was huge now maybe because I was small and maybe it wasn't that big at all but it had four huge big tires on it and it used to climb up the pit no problem it's just to push that grass up and compact it down and I gave a couple of years helping out putting some molasses on the grass as it went in to the silage bunker it just sweetens it up for the cattle to eat and of course that was before anyone used to bale it now I see most farmers bale it wrap it have the bales they're able to drop one bale at a time and I think there's less seepage out of it as well to protect the environment it's probably a better way to go but yeah that was the best thing about silage season all the tractors all around coming together and they would all head down to the farmer's house for their dinner to get a big feed down there when it was dinner time and they're still doing it here beside me they still do the contract work although the machinery has got way way bigger we were on the back of the Ford County one day and it just had these metal it was like metal spikes onto the rear attacher there was about eight spikes and that's what it used to reverse up into the pit and we were all standing on the spikes coming down through the field and there was a guy ahead of us in a Massey Ferguson 135 and he had a transport box on the back that had I think it was a barrel of diesel I think was on it that's all he had and the bull that was in the field got mad at it and ran and he put his head up against the side of the tractor and he pushed the tractor over and we were lucky we were coming behind because we were able to get the bull away in the big Ford County and we were able to get the tractor back up the right way lucky not too much damage was done driver was unhurt but it just it was just so unpredictable that this bull would jump over the electric fence and head straight down and they are a powerful animal and I don't think that bull lasted too much longer on that farm I think they just got rid of him too dangerous but to see a bull pushing a tractor over of course they are only a small tractor very lightweight there was no weights on it there was no he had no weight in it to keep himself right but to see a bull just push it over with his head made light work of it the awesome power and of course we were glad that we were on the big big tractor now, I know we have an in-game county uh, I can't think of what the name of it is it was a different name because of course we can't use Ford in the in-game but to me it's not the same this Ford county was way bigger and we had there was another one as well a huge big green tractor it was an articulated tractor it was called a Muir Hill M-U-I-R-H-I-L-L -L. that used to come and push down the, the grass as well and that was absolutely gigantic tractor I don't see any of them old tractors around the place anymore I guess they just had their work done of course they were used as the big beasts of burden they were used to do all the donkey work after missing a bit there now and this is my field so as I always do I'll just get back over it not too worried about how not too worried about how uh, neat the straw is for collecting it it's easy with the loading wagon just to gather it all up but definitely I want to get this these oats harvested I'll check the price now in a minute because everything I think everything is expensive for dairy on this 
all the machinery is going to be expensive it's going to be 10,000 for an Aquatrans water trailer so and we're going to really need one of them because the cows are going to drink a lot more water than the sheep they're going to use a lot more class harvester doing its job it's probably getting down near 50 percent of it it's probably getting down near 50 percent of its um repair needed and i hate when it gets down that far so what i might do is i might just hop out of it and go straight to our garage and we'll just repair from here Okay, wind roar needs a bit of repair. This needs a bit of repair. And the vent. And what about the header? Did it need repair? No. Okay, so that cost me a few pounds as well, but let's check the price of the oats while we're here. And the price of the oats is 1,118. Okay, it is what it is. We're going to need all our money. Much of it as we can. Could have hired a worker here just to do all this, but it's going to be quicker if I do it myself. And we need to check out the prices for all the stuff for the dairy farm. I'm going to need to get working as fast as I can on mowing down all the grass getting it into the silage bunkers getting it getting the cover over the pit and letting it ferment that's going to be a big help because we we'll need the silage for feeding the cows obviously but we'll also need the silage to sell the silage will be a lot more money than the grass or the hay or the straw there it is 379 so It's not going to be easy making money and that's what's good about this map you've got to work hard for it and I don't mind that I just wish that there was a few more fertilizer contracts just to boost it up but the last time I checked there was something like 35 baling contracts and it just they're just not worth it to take all day to do just can't get them done Let's see what kind of contracts are there now at the moment. Baling, baling, harvesting. Baling, 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 baling. Yeah, see they're all baling. Oops, turned off the harvester. It's not going to help. So this is ours. This is our dairy farm. What do you think? I think I made the right move. I could have gone for the pig farm, but it seemed like a lot of money, and it's hard to make money with pigs, I guess. It's, you know, in seasons you can do a bit more with pigs because they get fat and you can sell them off, but without seasons on, they're not making as much money. You're losing money every time you have to drive up in a trailer and pick them up and drop them off and so it would be fun to do I guess at some stage but not now I think I will start another map alongside this let's play with seasons because FS22 is going to have seasons and dang it missed a bit FS22 is going to have seasons and I like playing with seasons it's okay it's just when you're recording videos it's not the best because you're kind of cultivating and liming and you know not the exciting jobs that people maybe like to watch but if I can find a small map that seasons ready maybe do something like that just a little map just to tip along until FS22 comes of course we'll have a lot of work here we'll have our work cut out for us here now 
from this dairy farm it's not going to be simple we're going to need something a trailer to hold the milk we're going to need a water trailer we're going to need something for straw we do have the loading wagon but maybe that's going to be off doing the grass gathering grass uh what else are we going to need we're going to need a, a straw a uh, manure slurry we're going to have lots of things to be doing here it's not going to be easy i know that there is lots of equipment there for doing dairy but it all costs money and although we will make some money off this we have it we're going to have an oat harvest here we're going to have a sunflower harvest on the other side when the canola is done we're going to harvest that too but i think the best thing to do is harvest that little forestry field that we made above and just get rid of it sell it off and use the money that we're going to make off that field to fund a little field down here somewhere or maybe just put it towards a bit of machinery so we can get going a bit of equipment just to get going on our, our dairy farm here like I think myself we need to be starting with at least 20 cows to have some sort of start made so that they'll be producing manure producing milk as I said the sheep are going to just take care of themselves we're going to let them reproduce away down there now I'll keep them fed watered and I'll keep the Massey down there just tipping away at that once they're fed and watered and looked after they'll keep reproducing it would be great if we could get our sheep challenge done on this, a little trophy for breeding the sheep. I'm not sure how many we have to do. I do want to start chickens because, as I said, it's going to be nice to diversify. The only thing is that we're going to need a field for it. Now, me thinking what I'm thinking, of course, we could just use that little field up there, the little forestry field that we turned into oats could use that for chickens but they'd be way away from us we would be better off if we could do it down here if I could buy that periphery of course we could maybe be stick them there between field 17 and field 20 maybe there's a bit of a periphery there but like it's going to be a little cheesy to to buy that periphery but it does cost like why put it in for 9 million most of the periphery in the maps now are zero so that they don't interfere with your place in the buildings and stuff that's a bit tough to take that's okay we'll make a decision maybe on that in the future especially with the little dots around here where I can't place things because there's little dots of periphery mixed in with my fields that must be just a map making error I guess because you should once you buy your field own all of it and not have little pockets of it where it prevents you from placing stuff I didn't realize that so pipe out here we are full our little beacons say we're full that's the fertilizer spreader the vent has this on and of course once you have the periphery bought you don't make any money from it or anything like that I won't be using it to make any money but I think it'll be okay if I just use the maybe I could skip through one whole day without making any money and just put in the the signs for the subsidy signs to make the nine million maybe just put in enough of them to make it in one hour or something and just buy the periphery and then delete them all again make no money out of it just so I can continue and just so I can place a few things that'll be filling up there that's fine see that ready to harvest here zero percent fertilized snookered me we get going here again I don't want this video to be too long. I'd stay talking for hours. I just don't want to keep you all here watching me waffle on about. 
whether I'm entitled to cheat him money or not. <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoy this game. It's really good. I missed the Yeltsin Farmers. I missed him streaming last night. I just didn't get a chance to log in. I hope you had a nice time in there, guys. And girls. There's a great bunch of people in there. See now, if we had a nice little flat area, see where those trees are now, that could be a good place to put a little chicken coop or a chicken pen. But because that little blue dot is in there, it won't let me. See that little bit there, where that little thing is. Saying me, that's it's telling me that's not mine. I mean, who in the right mind would own a little piece of that there I might get creative and just cheat in the money like that little spot is here somewhere like who, who doing that I might get creative and farm subsidy in the periphery for myself just so I can place the chicken coop don't think that's unreasonable I'll make sure to jot down how much I have and I'll make sure to I'll make sure to uh, not make any money out of it just make sure that everyone is on board before I do it comment in the comment section there if you think that's okay for me to do I think it is a map making error that those little dots were left I can't see how it wouldn't be placeables on this map is, is very tough indeed I'm having a nightmare trying to place stuff just won't let me unless I use my fields if I use my fields for placing stuff, I'm not making any money out of it, so. I get the rest of this done now, anyway. I'll make some money out of this oats field. I'll get back in and get harvesting. Do need to get a header for the harvester for doing the sunflowers I think I'll just release it out because I won't be do I won't I don't have a cedar or a planter I didn't buy a planter for planting that crop I won't need corn for the cows I won't need sunflowers for the cows so I think if I just uh, hire out the header I should start here now it's 854 so what I'll do is I'll wrap up this I'll wrap up this episode at 9 9 a.m. regardless of what we have done and I'll continue on but I'll hire the header for the sunflowers across the way I'll get it done in less than an hour so it only costs a higher price and I'll turn that into barley or wheat or something so that when we do get chickens eventually we'll have some feed for them and I do have the silo at the sheep farm so I'm not too worried about not having a silo here it is a pity that it won't let me replace it there but that's the way it goes well, we're zooming around here I think with a minute or two to go to 9 a.m. We might just flip into the farm shop, just see what our options are for mixer wagons and things like that. If anyone knows of a good second hand dealer, John Linden, I'm looking at you. You must know where all the dairy stuff is. Good second hand, cheap as chips. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll buy, we'll buy for the real price. We don't mind paying a few quid for it. Of course, we'll get straw off this now as well. It won't be more much, but it will go towards making our TMR, total mixed ration, silage, hay, and straw. I think you can do without straw. I think you just add more hay. But uh, that seems a bit counterproductive because 
hay is a lot more expensive than straw so you're bulking it out with the straw get this little bit over here and no, all you bugging me otherwise shouldn't have missed it in the first place let's see mr. CDP did a mod video there with all the lights on the dashboard that was cool maybe we could look to upgrade one of our tractors for a little bit more horsepower we do have an international so I think I'd just keep the fence because it's so fast it's just it is nearly 200 horsepower as well in fairness to it so it's it's well able to use a lot of stuff it probably pulls a lot more than what it should that's good right so just clicked over with two minutes to go to nine so may as well just finish this We would have got a way better yield off it if it had been fertilized even once. But no, they didn't do it. Might get a little plow as well, just plow out the rest of this field. Phone ring in there. Don't know if you could hear it vibrating in the background. Very unprofessional, but that's okay. <laughs> We're just here to have fun. Get her that little bit. No, that's it. All done and dusted. I'll come back and gather the saw, straw off that. I'll also be doing the grass work off the screen. Let's just see what kind of, what do we get off this field? In here we have 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Eleven thousand. Okay, eleven thousand liters. That's okay. So I'll go sell that up at the. We'll make some money out of that. All right. Now let me just see what. How much is a mixer wagon for TMR animals? Ooh, fifty-three. Ooh, hundred and fifteen. Okay, so we're going to need lots of money. Twelve for the liquid Bowsers. Oh, here's some smaller ones. Okay, they might work. Okay, so we realistically we need to make money. I hope everyone's happy with the choice I made in buying the dairy farm. I'm happy. We're going to start making silage. I'll have all these fields cut down and re sown by the next time you join. That'll be fun. And just as I said, let me know if you think it's okay for me to add in the money to buy the periphery. Just so I can put down a placeable chicken coop. I don't want to make any money out of it. I'll make sure that I don't exceed it. I just think it's a bit silly that these little blue dots blue dots are there with the periphery preventing me from you can see them there to preventing me from placing stuff all around the map driving me nuts so we'll see about that i hope you've enjoyed the episode thanks to all my subscribers thanks to everyone who hits that like button and we'll see you all again soon just pop over here now We'll see you all again soon for episode 16. I'll catch up with you all in the comment section. Thanks everybody. Goodbye.